Hi guys, Coaster Jal here, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a spectacular theme park newsroom Halloween update. Uh, where today we're going to share the latest information and all the details around Screamfest Burton 2021, aka Screamfest Resurrected. Uh, so this is the uh, brought back to life Screamfest event uh, that was obviously not happening last year because of the pandemic, uh, but it is back this year. Screamfest resurrected uh, two brand new scare mazes and also some new entertainment to go along with the event so we're going to share all the details in this video the website is in the description down below so you can submit your uh, tickets buggy tickets when they go on sale and things like that so before we get started with all of that guys Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, cut that case bell so you don't miss a spectacular YouTube video. Also, guys, check the description down below for social media links and, of course, the Google Forms link where you can submit your own video ideas. And also, guys, you can stay tuned for the videos tomorrow because we've got a big video tomorrow. It's the trip preview from Alton Towers Resort, uh, the trip on Monday. If you do see me at the park on Monday, don't be afraid to say hi. And for now, guys, let's have a look at all the details, all the reveals for Screamfest Resurrected in Burton for 2021. One Halloween. So to start off with, we have to look at the entertainment. There is a brand new set of entertainment for 2021, and that is the Scream Fest 6. This is a flash mob dance party that brought Armageddon to the farm. As well as the Scream Fest 6, we have the fairground rides with additional cost. We have Hillbilly Joe's Zombie Paintball Smash with additional cost supplying on that one. We have live music and a DJ asking for a request if you dare. You've got food and drink. They're going to be at the other licensed bar serving beer and wine until half 10. Of course, the bar area is strictly for 18s and over. ID is required. Uh, so in terms of entertainment, no big new additions, just the brand new Scream Fest 6, which is a brand new, a big addition, the Flash Mob Party. So not a, a multiple new additions for entertainment, but just a brand new addition in general, just one new addition, and that is the Flash Mob. So I think they'll, they'll utilize that effectively. I think they'll be quite creative with that. Uh, obviously, use the latest restrictions restrictions in place with this as well and uh, be very excited to see what happens with that now let's have a look through all the mazes starting with the two brand new mazes for the 2021 event so starting off we have creed farm uh, now this provides fresh meat of the highest quality come on down and experience the harvest for yourself but warning strobe lighting will be used in this scare so uh, creed farm freak from the farm high quality meat uh, so creed farm is your your uh, i guess slaughterhouse maze it sounds like a human flesh slaughterhouse maze um and i like the sounds of this you know i think it doesn't give too much away in terms of storyline however um i think it's nice to see like a human slaughterhouse style maze i think that that's a great addition to the event um come on down and experience the harvest for yourself so i'm guessing there's going to be a scene or two where you sort of uh, see the harvest and butchering the humans and things like that so i think there's some really good creative potential with this one and uh, it should be interesting to see what happens with that one so that is creed farm but let's have a look at our other new maze for 2021 and that is La Theatre Noir. Uh, there is no people like show people until the coven takes over. Take your seats, the performance is about to begin. Warning, strobe lighting will be used in this scare as well. So Le Theatre Noir, so I'm guessing this is like an abandoned theatre taken over by some kind of uh, cult group. Uh, just uh, just an early prediction for me from, uh, from that one. But I think it's very, very interesting to see uh, this kind of theme being used an abandoned theatre being taken over by this uh, this coven, this group. Um, and it'd be interesting to see what kind of uh, scares come into the event. Uh, so I'm really excited to see what's going to happen with that. Uh, so we'll see what happens. But again, another great new maze. And it should be interesting to see how the public takes to the brand new maze. Next up in our maze list is 2019's brand new maze, Hillbilly Joe Zombie Zoo. Come on down to the Zombie Zoo, uh, the best day in all of South, all the South. Have got some sights for y'all. Zombie Zoo celebrates its second anniversary, and we've only had 362 days worth of zombie disasters. Hillbilly Joe invites you to the best day out in the South. Warning, strobe lighting will be used in this maze. Uh, so again, this is, a, this is another one with strobe lighting involved. 
um, you know, Hillbilly Hillbilly Joe Zombie Zoo. Obviously, it was a new addition for uh, for 2019. Uh, obviously, that was the the last year of the event uh, until obviously um, the 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 pandemic the 2020 delay um but i think that you know i've heard some great reviews from this there's some specific scenes in this which may be uh potentially great uh and could be very unique for the uk so I, i'm i'm excited that this is coming back i'm excited that the event's giving this uh particular maze a second year um and it should be interesting to see what happens it'd be interesting to see how they put in the uh the most recent restrictions uh there was a review uh from scare uk that thought this was quite a long maze and they were never quite sure who were more a danger the, the zombies or the hillbillies but it was a generally entertaining mi maze with a mix of scares and laughs with some engaging actors so it gives off some uh, some different feelings that particular maze so uh, it should be very interesting there uh, but yeah hillbilly joe's zombie zoo is returning to the event Another maze returning to the event is Love Hurts. Now, we can welcome you uh, to the Dice Heart pub. Owned by Professor Hart, he wants you to find his soulmate at one of his most famous speed, speed dating nights. Just pray you're not one of those rejected. Stro strobe lighting will be used in that maze once again. So, uh, again, that's uh, another one there. Uh, so, Love Hurts. Again, some mixed reviews from this one from the 2019 event. Uh, but, again, I'm glad to see that this has been given another chance. Um, and it, it should be interesting to see what happens with this one. So, overall, I think that... Uh, it's great to see uh, Love Hurts uh, bringing its own Valentine's Day massacre, but not on Valentine's Day, uh, for the Halloween event Screamfest Burton 2021. I'm very excited. Love Hurts. It, it generally does, trust me. And finally, Freak Out on Tour. The Funhouse was the first step. Now experience Hell's favourite attraction on tour. It might be time to run away from the circus. Freak Out is back but not as you know it. So this sounds like that this sounds like freak out's going to be going uh, on the road as like a roaming scare zone, I guess. Um obviously from the previous event we had uh, the freak out maze and we also had the day of the dead trailer ride. So we haven't heard anything from the day of the dead trailer ride which mean that which means that's looking like it's gone uh, or not coming back for this event, uh, which I'm guessing is probably right due to the restrictions. But freak out as a maze looks like that's not Coming back as a maze either so it looks like free cats gonna go on tour I'm guessing this is probably so uh, they can just do something different with that now I'm not too sure exactly if the free cat building will be reused uh, for one of the new mazes the theatre noir or Creek farm um, but it seems like uh, the other one will be taking up a new space in the attraction I'm guessing or, the, or a new space in the event uh, but I think overall freak out moving to a, a tour version I think it's something different something unique something they can take on tour with them there was some mixed reviews from the freak out maze from 2019 uh, however I think that I think it's a risk taking it on tour I think it, it does provide that risk that they're not going to bring the maze back whether they bring that maze back in 2022 or not is another story depending if uh, one of the new mazes taking up that plot of line where the freak out maze version uh, was in 2019 uh, but it should be interesting but that is all the details on Screamfest resurrected in burton on trent for the 2021 halloween season <laughs> So there we are, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seekers and spook seekers of all ages. Ah, uh, see what we did there with the catchphrase. That is talking about Screamfest Resurrected 2021. Uh, this is the Resurrected Screamfest Burton event. Now, what are my thoughts on all of this? Now, of course, I've never done this event. Now, this, is, this is a scare event that I've never had the chance to do. At some point in the future, I would love to try this event. I think they've got some wonderful mazes from the looks of it, and I think that uh, it should be very interesting to see what's going to happen with this. Um, do I think that Freak Out going on tour instead of a maze is a good thing or a bad thing? Like I said, I can't really judge it because I've not really done the maze. But, um, you know, I think, like, I think when you're taking a maze into a roaming zone, I think that it always brings that risk. Look at Big Top, for example, at Thought Park. They sort of, you know, took the maze and sort of brought it in a, co a couple of years later into this, like, roaming kind of thing uh, in, the, in the dome area in the entrance dome um, so I think that you know it's always a risk when you sort of take that route with one of the mazes 
Um, I love the look of the two brand new mazes, Creek, uh, Creek Farm, Creed Farm, whatever it is, Creed Farm, <laughs> and uh, Le Theatre Noir. I think that both of those mazes look amazing, by the way, and uh, it should be interesting to see what's going to happen with that. Um, and obviously Love Hurts coming back, um, you know, Hillbilly Joe Zombie Zoo coming back, you know, I think it provides a very interesting lineup. so overall, I'm quite excited about this, now I'm not too sure if I could do the event this year, however, uh, we'll probably know more in a couple of months, but, uh, fingers crossed I would like to go down to this event and try it out, because it does look amazing, and, um, you know, I'd be really excited to see what your guys' thoughts on this maze are, did you do the event in 2019, what are your thoughts on Freak Out becoming a roaming uh, tour based attraction and what are your thoughts on the two brand new mazes and if you've got any knowledge about where these have been located then please comment down below do not be afraid but that is going to be it from me guys thank you very very much my name is Coach Shell keep living the coastline stay tuned for the trip preview coming tomorrow and for now my name is Coach Shell keep living the coastline and I'll see you guys in the next video very very soon take care guys have a scream-tastic day